when you're hitting the uh, supraspinatus, it hits about here, straight down, and this also affects the brachial plexus. So the brachial plexus goes all the way down the arm, so when you're hitting this, you're actually affecting that as well. If you just press like this, you don't really feel You feel more if you grab hold of the back and pull it towards the front. And I have my hand, finger on it just there. Certain, certain places where it's kind of tender, and some places where you can hit it all day. You feel though, if you get it right on the apex of the shoulder. Then go back a bit. Ah, yes. Back a bit. Then you'll feel it. You have to. I'm using my little middle finger because you can get the most pressure out of that. Once you've found it on yourself, I mean, it's going to be easier to find it on other people. Okay. Have fun. Then we've got the supraspinatus, where his shoulder is. And you can hit with a chop or a hammer fist. And so there. So we're going for the supraspinatus, but with instead of a hit this time, we're going to go for a chop. Okay? So the chop is going to take out his brachial plexus and it take out all this arm. So basically, you can do short work from here. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at the uh, brachial plexus now. And my finger is just on it. You can see this muscle here, just in front of this muscle. Your jugular is on it. If you press on here you can feel the jugular. It's actually a uh, carotid artery you feel. The jugular doesn't have a pulse. And it's just below there, right here. If you press on there, you'll be able to feel it. <laughs> feel it. So and there's the clavicle, and just over there, so you hit that. Okay, so we got the brachial plexus here. So there's a clavicle, and if you hit anywhere around this area, as you can see it's smaller than my fist, so if you use a, a chop, anywhere in that area of the clavicle. <laughs> 